गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी योर आइल्स क्लास फॉर टूडे दिस क्लास इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई सी ई सी ए एंड दिस इज क्लास विच इज फ्री ऑफ द कॉस्ट वी रन एवरी मंडे टू फ्राइडे द टाइमिंग इज टू टू फोर दैट्स द मेलबर्न टाइम यू कैन अटेंड इट बाई जस्ट क्लिकिंग एट द लिंक ऑफ द जूम एंड इफ यू हैव टू पी टी क्लास नाटी सी सी एल क्लास इज प्रेपरेशन फॉर दोज टेस्ट देन द क्लासेज आर अवेलेबल फॉर दोज एज वेल एंड दैट्स ऑल्सो फ्री नो चार्जेस टू बी पेड फॉर देम एज वेल the links you can uh, get from the facebook page of sika or you can just call on the number or leave a message at the sika page so that you can receive the links and uh, besides that we do have the canada immigration eligibility check which is done free of the cost an immigration a uh, procedure if you want to understand that what you need in that what are the requirements prerequisites everything that migration counseling is also free for canada so you can avail those benefits just by calling us or in person you can come down to the office as well and uh, uh, also the nati ccl is available for hindi urdu and punjabi and the fourth one is nepalese these four languages it is available for you can have the preparation done and we do offer the overseas health cover which is the lowest in price and you can get the code simply by calling us by sending us a message by sending us an email so any way you can contact and get a quote for the or if like suppose you want to change your health insurance cover or you want to upgrade it so you can check with the quotes as we do offer the lowest price in that different unis are available here in australia and even if in canada like you can have access to those uh, colleges unis and if you are eligible any scholarship we can do offer you and provide you with uh, 25 up to 25% of the scholarships as well if you are after any course in the australia as well then migration counseling for that is also free education counseling is also free all right so that as the that are the services we do provide at the seeker and it's like bully operational now you can come and uh, ask your queries meet face to face to the counselors to the migration agent uh, everyone right so here we will be doing the reading today so the first uh, is what is the, the passage number 3 so this is having question number 28 to 40 so these are the question we will be doing today after this we will be moving to passage 2 and then steadily to passage 1 so here you can see as the question number 22 to 33 are read from the from the passage here it got five paragraphs in that and we have to answer which paragraph contain the following information so here twin threats to the globe on these are the questions here from the five options above five paragraphs above you have to see which paragraph is giving this information and that letter of the paragraph from a b c d e is going to be the answer to the question so just find these answers and send your answer in the chat box so we started this at 2 12 around so we try to do it in a time bound way if we can finish it So uh, let me change the setting of the chat box. Your answers will be straight to me now. So let's start doing it.
I'm waiting your answers. Zarish first three are wrong, last two are right. Kimberly answers are right. Zarish, look again for first three. Uh, sorry, you have given answer. Um, I think I messed up somewhere. But yet, you have not given. I'm not given off. Oh. No, this is for Zarish. Uh, 30th, you missed Zarish. Your first three, 28, 29, and 31, your first three are wrong. 32 and 33 is right. 30 is missing. Yeah. So four you need to find. And Kimberly, your answers are right. What is your what is the confusion? Oh, I thought I, I had missed writing one because I was I had done it anyhow and then I put it in order. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I sent it to you in order afterwards. So I thought I forgot to type one answer. No, no, it's in order. Aman, uh, your answers. Uh, last one is right. So look again, guys, quickly. Afterwards, we'll talk about the answers. Twenty nine, it's right, Zarish. Oh, Aman, your twenty ninth is also right. Sorry about that. Your twenty ninth answer is also right. Thirty three is also right.
Amman 28th is. Uh, yeah, that's right, too. This is the reading passage, guys, as uh, there is a new student join in. This is the reading passage three of the general reading we're doing. These are the questions 28 to uh, 33, where you need to find where this information comes from, from which paragraph. That is, that's right for 28. Thirty one, uh, you already sent me, right? But that is uh, uh, that's not right, Sarish. Keep the mic on mute, please. Uh, okay, so one minute more to you guys. It's getting really noisy. Um, I'm on 38 and 32. 30 is right, 32 is right. Yeah, that's right. So just one minute, I'm giving you for these uh, six questions out here. Then we'll be looking at the another set.
okay so let's talk about the answer your one minute is over so it says which paragraph contain this following information the para uh, the question number 28 uh, as you all get that right this is from the passage number d passage uh, d uh, here it is uh, there they talking about threats to the globe warm right there we are talking about it so are we not talking details about it then the 29th is way in which glow worms have been used and i believe this is also true for everyone which is b yeah that's right all right and 29th is ways in which glow worms uh, no 30th is variation in type of glow worm so variation in type of glow worm is the 30th and the answer to this one is into the a paragraph so uh, let's go to the a paragraph it says variation in types of the glow worms belong to the family of beetle known as the uh, lampyrid or firefly grow fireflies are huge group containing this much of species with the one news being one uh, new ones being discovered all the time the feature which make fireflies and glow worms so appealing is their ability to produce an often dazzling display of light the light is used by adult fireflies as a signal to attract a mate each species must develop its own call sign to avoid being confused with other species glowing nearby so they are talking about the variations of the glow worm like there are firefly there are beetles there are glow worms right and there there are different species they need to have their own call sign so within any one area each species will differ from its neighbor in some way for example so how they there are variation in the types this is these are the way so that what they are uh, talking in the a paragraph and then 31 glow worm distribution uh, so this is into the b paragraph and then if you get this right 32 no so 32 is uh, b right yeah 32 is b where they talking about glow worm glow worm distribution so it say attracted human attention for generation it is described in an ancient chinese encyclopedia written over 2000 years ago by pupil of confucius fireflies often featured in japanese and uh, arabian folk medicine all over the world they have been the inspiration for countless poems painting stories in britain for example there are plenty of anecdotes describing how glow worms have been used to read or uh, read by or used as emergency emergency bicycle lamps early travelers in new world came back with similar stories how the native people of central america collected type of click beetle and then girls threaded them around their feet to illuminate the forest path at night so glow worm distribution in the world they talking about like in from the chinese encyclopedia years back which is dated year back from the japanese poem arabian folk medicines and then um, britain's uh, anecdotes and then then there is another example central america's one so distribution glow worm distribution worldwide right that's what they're talking in there and then the 32 glow worms becoming an attraction you got it right which is e they becoming an, an attraction and the life cycle of a glow worm that's the 33 question and it is in the c paragraph how it hatch how many days it takes So 33 is C and easy because the C paragraphs is all talking about uh, the life cycle of a glow worm, right? So let's move to the next set of the question. So here you know the answers now. 34 to 40 is the blanks, I guess. Uh, yes, I think so. Okay, here you can see. the questions are true false not given so true false not given when the statement agree contradicts or there is no information respectively that's how we find the true false not given so normally as i told you the trick to divide the statement into three parts right which say scientists have only scientists have only recently been able to to do what list the exact number of glow worm species so this is like up to able to one part list the exact number two parts of glow worm species is the third part so always divide the statement into three parts and that's how you can understand the statement better and you can also look 
the paraphrasing for the statement in a better way and if you getting the all the things all the three parts in the passage it's true if there are uh, two parts same but one part is contradictory it is false and if the one part is only there other two parts they are not regarding the same thing that means there is no information uh, available in that area for that particular statement so that means it is the not given only one part will be there so that's how it also uh, make it easy to uh, find the answers as well so here i just uh, i just make them a little bigger for the eyes right so just go through with these question and this is 236 
Just like every question need to be divided and it will be easy to understand. True, false or not given. Three, three are the possible answers here. Send in all answers together, please.
received two answers. Okay, received answers from everyone. Let me tell you whether your answers are wrong or right. Kimberly, your answer number first is right. 35 is wrong. 36 is wrong. Are you missing on any answers? Yeah. 36 I didn't give. I didn't get the 36. 35 is wrong. Then after that, uh, it says, okay, it says this, it says this. Okay, then 35 is wrong and uh, 36 is not there. Zarish, your answer number 34 is wrong. And uh, where your answers are. Okay, and uh, 35 right, 36 wrong, 37, 8 wrong, 39 wrong, 40th true. And uh, Aman, 34, 30, uh, after that. I'll just say the wrong, right ones. 34 is right. And after that, fortieth is right. So look again, guys. Give me the complete answers here.
36 Kimberly is right, but 35 is wrong. Thirty-four. Uh, yeah, that's right, Zarish. And uh, 36 is not right. Thirty nine uh, is right, Zarish. Hello, what's your name with the iPhone? Um, it's me, Jashan. All right. Jashan Breedkar. All right. So you were attending the classes earlier as well? Yep. All right. Are you doing reading today with us? Uh, yes. Uh, I have just joined recently. I yeah, think I it's saw. just 10 minutes. Yes. So I was just, I want to know. Actually, sometime I'm on my WhatsApp number if I'll send you. Okay. Uh, 
you are not completely audible to me it's like your volume uh, just uh, just like it, it just fade away then come back again so i'm not able to hear properly what you want to send on the whatsapp uh the reading modules that we are discussing in our class right now is it possible for you to send me on my whatsapp number as a pdf file uh no <laughs> i mean this is like uh, right now it's uh, on this computer system and i cannot assess the same on my whatsapp or something you can take a screenshot of this one right now you're using phone i guess phone yeah so, uh maybe you can log in into the laptop and you can take a screenshot of this one this is the first i mean the one passage only the other one i'll be sharing soon yeah. uh, okay i'll see i'm sending you a message and please check yeah sure yeah sure okay so let's talk guys answers here and uh, the 34th one where it says scientists have only recently been able to list the exact number of globum species so basically it's like a not given answer why because there is no accounting of the exact number of the globums right it is like obviously this seems impossible to have the exact number of the globum species right they are always saying over 2000 species the firefries are a huge group containing over 2000 species with one being discovered all the time with one uh, new ones being discovered all the time so there is nothing mentioning of exact number they are saying like they are searching them they getting them this is over 2000 now but they keep we keep on finding the new ones so there it is not mentions anywhere and i don't believe it is mentioned anywhere else as to so this is why it is a not given answer the first fireflies appeared 30 million years ago so the first uh, the fireflies as we were going to the passage number b paragraph b what it is saying 2000 years ago so 20 million it's not 30 so this is false 30 uh, five number question answer to that is false but ma'am what about paragraph b the second part fireflies very similar to those see today second paragraph um, only we also, got our answer from no 30 million years ago were formed about 30 million years ago where it is written can you drag me to the same line uh yeah paragraph b after paragraph b the second para and paragraph b fly is very similar to those so there were they not talking about that the first, yeah i got it first fireflies appeared 30 million years ago that's the statement right here we come uh, down fireflies very similar to those we see today have been found fossilized in rocks which were formed about 30 million years ago so they talking about the fossils formed in the rocks which were formed about 30 million years ago they not talking about the fireflies appearing 30 million years ago understand the statement this is not what they talking about the appearance of the first fireflies they just saying uh, the fossils we see today have been found in rocks the fossils we see today have been found in rocks fossilized in rocks which were formed about 30 million years ago so it is not a indication that the, it is like uh, the first flyers appeared 30 million we found it and which are 30 million years back but there is no mentioning of like they are, do appear at 30 million years ago okay we okay. have the same statements okay yeah. uh okay it's different from and appeared yeah i mean right, right that's also right it says appeared and that says formed You, this is an uh, another difference aman pointed towards and which is very right i am happy about it so it says formed right but the statement says appeared and these two are different uh, things indicating different even sort of aman uh, aman no no aman uh, jashan i haven't got your message in the chat box yet and 36 glowworm population are decreasing faster in some countries than in others so 36 number 
question it is so somebody saying something uh, Jashan, actually i i don't know but when you talk i'm not able to uh, listen to you okay got your message yeah as my control problem on. i i'm basically from india so yeah it's okay we, it's a kind of network problem over here yep. yes 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 see i cannot send you anything in the pdf format on your number i can just tell you the resources we use like we just google and yes. get the resources there is no specific yes. pdf we got right uh, so maybe if okay. you want to have the readings i can share a few websites with you that's what I can do, but uh, sorry to say, but I cannot share any PDF because I don't have them. I don't have any PDFs or any sort of, uh, my, you know, something Word documented something with me. So I can share oh, that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And, and you can, uh, you can, can you please turn the mic off because it's like, uh, uh, something is not. Yeah. Yeah. You sure. Why not? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Okay. I'll. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'll be just sending it to you. Just a second. So here, here the 36, like global population are decreasing faster in some countries than in other. So countries, they are mentioning in the paragraph B only. They're talking about different countries, the, but they're not mentioning about the population of them decreasing faster in some countries than in others. So we don't have this sort of thing there. So this is also a not given answer. Heat affects the production of glow warm lava. 37th. So heat affects the production of glow warm lava, which is true. And uh, I guess everyone get that right. Or you want me to say where it is? Hurry up, man. You got it. You want me to tell where it is? Heat affects the production of glow warm lava. Let's go to the. It's I guess here, you have in the C it's paragraph. In, uh, it's in paragraph C. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, all right. Yeah, it's going to uh, be why? Because the fourth last line. Fourth that's, last line. So obviously, because that's the way, that's the place we're talking about the life cycle. So the lava is one of the uh, step in the life cycle stage in the life cycle. So it tell us that we need to see in the paragraph C. And the lava light is throughout this time as the approximate. Uh, the first part of C, the egg usually takes about 35 days to hatch, but the exact time varies according to temperature. Now, about 27 days in hot weather to more than 45 days in cold weather. All right, so that's true. It affects the production of glow warm lava. Adulthood is the longest stage of glow warm's life. Adulthood. False. Is the longest stage of glow warm life? I guess this is false. Paragraph C, the next yes. page. The adult Paragraph C. Have, ma mouth, have no mouth parts, cannot eat, and therefore only live a few days. All right. So here we have this answer as well. The exact reason why glow warm numbers are decreasing is unknown. Oh. So this answer to this question is also uh true that exact reason why glow warm numbers are decreasing is unknown so let's say where it is paragraph d last sentence okay here they started off with the number of glow warm have been falling so we didn't suggest that there has been a steady decrease right and uh, the they were asking about the exact reason so if we just go through this paragraph, the causes of the glow worms gradual decline are clear. However, a lot of research will be needed. That means, like they are saying, a lot of research is needed, will be needed. However, before the causes of the glow worms gradual decline are clear, that means still it's not uh, clear. So that's why this 39th statement is true. Then the 40th one, glow worms are usually found in wet areas. So here they are, they are found wet, weather conditions are damp, right? So the condition are damp, that mean wet. So here it is right. So 40th is true as well. So answer to these one are clear now. Let's move to the passage number two. 
just a sec so just keep on counting your score guys at the end we'll be seeing how much marks we have received out of 40 questions Again, we got true false not given and then the same like which paragraph contain the following information but in the reverse sort of order. All right. Just a sec, I'm done printing it. This is the next passage. I mean, we are doing it in reverse order. Uh, so Bingham Regional College International Students Orientation Program. So here you go with the question number 15 to 20, true, false, and not given. Ignore this uh, heading here, this one. Uh, so just go through these five questions first, and then we will be moving to the remaining one. That's 21 to 27. True, false, not given. These are again the same. Hey, Aleem, how are you? Oh, no. He's so low. Man. So, how are you? Um, I was just busy with my college studies. All so, right. Thanks. That's good to hear. <laughs> Not bad. Yes, ma'am. Uh, after my first time, I guess it was pretty okay. Uh -huh. But I guess they wanted uh, you know, six from every aspect of the... I guess 5.5, 5, uh, I got in a reading, so that was kind right. of unacceptable. But other aspects, I performed well, but they yeah, I know. said that, yeah, they shouldn't, the band shouldn't be less than six. So, so it's like each six you require. Yeah, in everything. Okay, so uh, you are an academic candidate, right? Yes, ma'am. All good. So no, not to worry. So can you have like, do you can like have time to come to the classes every day or it's like some specific days you will be able to attend them? Um, some specific days, ma'am. All right. So just send me a message in the box, which days you able to. 
and I guess it's just today and that's it. Like today, yes. like every Friday. So have you filled up your exam already? Uh, on the registration date you're asking? Yeah, that's that's what I'm asking. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So uh, when it is? Um, it's gonna be the twentieth, most probably. Mhm. Mm the twentieth, I guess, the next week itself. I'll try to like join whenever mm -hmm. I can, but it's just uh, I don't, I don't really get time now. Oh, right, uh, right, since right. almost, you know, mm -hmm. I'm coming to the end of the term, like it's the last semester. Uh -huh. year, so I barely get some time to you know, get all into right. some classes and that's all. Okay, you're there in the group, right? So, yes, and you have the details of contacts as well. Just yes, in case you need any help, any assistance in something, just send me a message out there, right? So when I'll be having time, I'll definitely reply that because we are in a different time zone. So that is also an issue. Yes, ma'am. So it's like you send me just like any uh, query you have, any question you stuck on and you're not getting it, why it is not, uh, why it is the answer and why it is not, right? So you can send me that. I'll be happy to help. Yeah, but it's like as per the time slots we are having, I'll be sending you definitely for sure the reply back. Yes, ma'am. Sure. Right? And whenever you get time, you can come here and attend the session. And... Uh, it's good if you can tell me in advance so that I can just have something of academic here. So that sure. it will be beneficial for you as your exam is quite near, right? Yes. So, all right. So today you are, uh, you know, being here or you are leaving the session? I'm being here now, this time for whole. All whole right. Time. All right. So let's do these five questions on the screen right now. And after this, the first passage, I'll be pasting up of academic. After this one, right? But yeah, do this as well. Yes, ma'am. So this is reading, right, ma'am? Yeah, this is reading. Okay.
receiving answers guys but let me just get the answer from everyone two answers i received Yeah, this is yes, no, not given, right? No, true, false, not given. Yeah, that's what it's all like. True, false, not given. Because... Four answers. Right. <clears throat> okay, Kimberly, the answers you have given here. According to that, last is wrong only, and Zarish. Sixteen wrong, nineteen wrong, twentieth wrong. Uh, 
Aman uh, 15 wrong, 19 wrong. Jashan 16 wrong, Nine, uh, and then 20th wrong. Sorry, Aman, your answers, I'm checking them again. Uh, they are right except the first one. All are right. Only 15 is wrong. Sorry. And uh, Aleem, the first four are right. And uh, yeah, other two are also right. Kimberly, yeah, that's right. Yes, of course, you know, if it's not given, if it is not not given, then what it can be, it can be ultimate, ultimately false. So don't consider this right as Arish and Kimberley. So the answers uh, for the questions here, the first one. Can you explain the last one? Just, uh, just the explanation. Kimberley, I'm starting from 15. Oh, is that oh. fine? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I just wanted to. So definitely I'll be coming to the 20th as well. So participants are advised to arrive one or two days early. No, you have, I don't know if you messed up, but uh, your answers are right, Aleem. Uh, participants are advised to arrive one or two days early. So the 15 one, it is true. The answer to this one is true, are advised to. Let's see where they're talking about them. So the Aman, you got this one incorrect uh, how much it cost mm -hmm. the program to help me people but you should plan to arrive in bingham on 22nd or 23rd september so participants are advised to uh, arrive one or two days early that's what they are saying and uh, here they saying that uh, it take place like course will introduce you to the college to and to bingham it take place in the week before term start from 24th to 28th September, inclusive. But you should plan to arrive in Bingham on the 22nd or 23. So the course is starting is 24, right, September. And uh, they are saying that participants are advised to arrive one or two days early. So this is 24th, one day is 23rd, two days 22nd, right? So that means this is true, they're saying that you should plan to arrive on 22nd or 23rd, one or two days before 24th, right? So that's why this is true. And uh, 16 is, I guess, if, if anybody is wrong with 16, tell me or otherwise we can skip it. This is also true. The cost of the program for European Union students, excluding accommod accommodation is pound 195. So cost here, it is European Union student who do not come from. And here is EU students are welcome to take part in this program for a fee of pound 195 in exclusive of accommodation. So fees, is, uh, fees are not refundable. So same, they are saying, same mentioning they are there that the cost for the EU students will be uh, this, excluding accommodation. And here they're also saying the same thing. So it is true. The number of places available is strictly limited. The number of places available is strictly uh, limited. So here, the answer to this question number uh, 17 is uh, not given. Why? Because they are not talking about any specific numbers here, I believe. And they are saying like, uh, you can come and blah, blah, blah. Cost will be this and inclusive this much tuition fee accommodation. And the alternative, you can arrange your accommodation, what includes into the program, information session, social activity. Transfer. So I believe there is no uh, mentioning of the number of places is strictly limited sort of. They have never mentioned such thing. So it is, uh, yeah, I couldn't find it, uh, anything like that. So it is not given, the 17. St some students are not charged extra for accommodation during the program. So like uh, some student exception, if they have given, so it will make it true. And if there is no exception, so it will make it false. 
So if you booked accommodation for the year and program, you are need to equal lunch and for those who know. Yes, so uh, you will also the uh, pre book accommodation for one week, hostel the cost of you can arrange your accommodation. Lunch and evening will provide a big new soup is in there. Please no soups of one minute is entry. Okay. So some students are not charged extra for accommodation. So in the accommodation cost paragraph only. If you have booked accommodation for the year ahead, 41 week through the college in one of the college residence, like Camburn House, Hanley House, Student Village, or a college shared house, you do not have to pay extra for accommodation during the orientation program. So some student won't be charged for accommodation during the program. And what program orientation we talking about? So why? Because they already pay, paid ahead uh, for 41 weeks through the college residence so yes this is an exception they have given uh, in the cost section the college will arrange accommodation with local families so this is false if you have not booked accommodation in the college residences you can uh, ask us to pre-book accommodation uh, for you for one week only international student the cost of accommodation you can arrange it for a flat with friends or a local family so they are saying you can arrange your own accommodation with friend flat or local family so they're not helping out they're not arranging with the local families you can obtain breakfast at the college for an extra charge so what is included in the uh, program so include inclusions are meals lunch and an evening meal are provided as part of the poor program beginning with supper on sunday 23rd september and finishing uh, with lunch at midday on friday 28th september please note that breakfast is not available <clears throat> so they're saying the breakfast is not available so there is no uh, meaning of getting for it for an extra charge right so it is not a made it is not made available so that makes it false because op there is a breakfast option. They're talking about the college one and they're saying you can get it on extra charge as they mentioning uh, the, the, these, uh, these terms are the inclusion and the one thing you can pay and you can have it, but you can't have it because it is not available at all. That's what they mention about the breakfast. So that make it false statement. It is contradicting that we cannot obtain it because it's not available. There is not cost thing uh, there which we can pay and get the breakfast. So <clears throat> these are the 15 to 20th and the next set. As you know, the journal reading is usually have two uh, different passages in the first and second passage. So here is the second passage of one. It is for the question number 21 to 27. So we have to see uh, which paragraph is from which, uh, which information is from which paragraph, right? So let me just... Show you the page. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, mm -hmm. No, ma I was just unable to see your screen for a while. That's it. Now, now it's I fine. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. This is the question number twenty-one to twenty-seven, and you don't have too much too much time here. Quickly find it because the uh, the passages you see the paragraphs they are very small. So this is possibly can inconvenient for car owners. So let's see, we have this uh, information given and they have given us a note, you may use any letter more than once. As there are seven questions and five paragraphs, so definitely we may need to use a letter more than once. Find this up.
<clears throat> one answer so far. Two answers. Send the complete answer. Um, I need to change one answer. Can I just change one answer? Yeah, you can. Okay, Aleem, your answer is pending. Rest I received. Yes, I'm sorry. I just had some connection problem. I'm just mm -hmm. sending the answers. Just a All right. Okay, so let's see what you guys have sent to me. Okay, Zarish 22 uh, is right. Yeah. No, I'm not saying the answer you send them. I'm just saying them what is wrong for them. Zarish is 22, which is right. 27 is right. 25, no, that's not right. And Jashan, uh, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is right. And uh, 27 is wrong. And uh, why are you messing up the order, Jashan? Your answers are right. So, Kimberley, your answer number 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. They are right. Aman, your answer number 22, 3, and uh, 25, 27. These are right.
ओके नाउ किम्बले ट्वेंटी फाइव इज रॉन्ग एंड आई मिस्ड अप ऑल द आंसर्स वन सेकेंड मैम कैन आई जस्ट सेंड इट ऑल अगेन नो 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 इट्स थर थ्री टाइम्स यू हैव ऑलरेडी सेंड मी सो वी विल आई मिस्ड अप द आंसर्स आई थिंक सो आई मिस्ड अप द टाइपिंग I don't know, but uh, the second time you sent me, I said that's right. It's like first time I didn't check them. Second, I said it's they are right, and why I don't understand why you sending them the third time. Okay, no, ma'am, I missed. <clears throat> no, you are like I don't know why you get confused, but yes, just wait, wait two minutes. Alim, twenty one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, up to six, it's right. And seven, ah, uh, but the both one are not right. And Zarish, your answer number twenty six is right. So this is possibly convenient, inconvenient for car owners. This question number it is in the par. Uh, it is in the C. um here it is this is possibly inconvenient for car owners so it is in the paragraph number c so where it says hanley house a second modern self catering resident in the town center 152 students 18 rooms per floor with communal kitchen lounge bathrooms and toilets rent is 53 per week including bill not telephone there is no space for parking nearby right so inconvenient for the car owners this is best if you like surfing uh sorry what it is surfing the web 20 second it is a uh why because it says uh, broadband internet connection telephone with the communal kitchen dining and area lounge uh, so this is why this is like uh, best if you like the surfing the web because it will be available in the uh, kitchen area dining area lounge areas so convenient right the next one this is uh, sorry one of the college residences this has the fewest students of the college residences this has the fewest students so that's is d because everywhere they have mentioned the number and it is d uh, where the number is 120 which is the uh, least comparatively to other ones uh, just a second guys and uh, the next one this is okay let me just remove this one this is new option offered by the college so the question number 24 is e house shares this recent initiative recent initiative stands for the new offer then uh, comes I the just want to, excuse me i just want to know about the 23rd question they are asking of the college residences this has the fewest students mm hmm and in in the d it is written a privately owned and managed so student, student residence residence privately no. owned and managed student residence okay the so student resident is one which is like out of the colleges only it is only it is just that it is privately owned and managed but it is again a student resident residence Right. Thank you. Okay, yep. and uh, then uh, where were we? You have to organize parking a year at a time. You have to organize parking a year at a time. Twenty fifth. It's 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 in the B paragraph. Oh, sorry, B. Yeah, paragraph. So it says, uh, parking is available with permit costing pound ninety for the academic year. So why it says student will self catering three point. This is uh you have to organize parking a year at a time. Oh yeah, so it's like uh, uh for academic year you need to pay this much, so you have to organize parking a year parking a year at a time. So this is why it is uh, B. Then this accommodation does not belong to college. So twenty six is in the D paragraph that uh, it says privately owned, right? Because it is managed and owned by someone privately. Again, it's a residence. right so it is not belonging to the college 
here you definitely do not have your own bathroom so that's for the 27th it is c because here it says that um, uh, the toilets and uh, the bathrooms the kitchen and laundries it is like 18 rooms per full floor with communal communal that mean it is shared with all the people living there so there comes the bathroom and toilet so you don't have your own uh, bathrooms in there so quickly uh, this is only seven minutes we have just a second so quickly i got a few more questions not the entire passage we able to do but yes whatever we can we should be doing it just a second so this is the passage number one generally easy so i'll be just picking up the first set which is five question and you need to act quickly with that it is like the seven one but i know you guys can do that it says walk for charity so we have to answer the question in no more than uh, three words or and a number sort of so here you go with the question and answers just a sec sharing the screen again here you go so one to seven walk for charity uh, so look at the information on the given page like the one we are looking at walk for charity you have to find this question number one to seven so it's like you see only seven minutes are there so take five minutes find them what is the starting point for the 30 kilometer walk straight go here this is like 10 20 and 30 kilometer route we will be having so where it is starting write that write that place name what is the latest start time for the 20 kilometer walk so latest start time for the 20 kilometer walk so there are the start times right so just see what is the answer and write there so quickly go through with these questions i know you can do that in five minutes yes that's right for the first one so just act quickly i was just mistaken and i was just like noting down the answers I just mistake this sent it. Yeah, it's okay, but you are right. <laughs> quickly, be quickly. Like I know this is this is the easiest part till now. Just four minutes you have, and I would say two minutes you have. Okay, so send me the answer for the first four questions.
Okay, <clears throat> for the first four, Jashan, your answer number one is right, but uh, the punctuation is not right. And uh, then uh, the next one, uh, it's not right. I don't know why you have given two times. And the uh, third one, mm, okay, no, this is not right. And the uh, fourth one is right. Kimberly, this is fifth. So this is right. But uh, have you sent the first four? Yeah, yeah, I sent the first four. I'm just trying to send all the answers. Yeah, that's good. That's good. It will it'll fasten up your process of uh, finding answer as well. And your first four answers are right. And Abdul, your first two are right. Aman, uh, <clears throat> so spellings are incorrect. Watch out. The second is wrong. Third is not right. And uh, who else have sent it? And then, 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 no, no, no. Oh, you can't write this long answer or you are asking me about this? No. The no, third one. wrote the wrong answer. I didn't see the. <laughs> okay, but this is. I'll resend it, ma'am, later. Yes, and uh, no, Aman. Sorry, Jashan. This is not right at. Uh, for the second one yes and the fifth one fifth one is not about time it says where does the 20 kilometer walk finish no fourth is not right Aman. and sixth one is right Kimberley Okay, so the answer is here. Uh, that's very clear. What is the starting point for 30 kilometer walk? So all the walks are starting from well down. So spellings need to be correct. Latest start time. Latest start time doesn't mean the first one. Here it says start time, uh, 30 kilometer. It's 8 to 10. And 20 kilometer, 8 to 10, 30 a.m. So latest is 8, 10, 30 in that sense. Latest is like? or the, the the other side one not the first like first initial not not that one is called latest regarding footwear what are your what you what are you warned against wearing so this is uh, where they're talking about footwears yeah it is saying uh, it is better to wear shoes that have been worn in rather than ones that are new so they are warning giving warning against the new shoes Right. So that means what, what is the warning against wearing footwear is like new shoes. It's not related. Warning is not related to the worn one. Warning is related to the new shoes. So here we will be writing new and then uh, shoe uh, with, uh, with that. And even if you're not writing shoe, it's OK writing new. What are the officials who will help participants on the route called? Uh, so here, if you need help along the route, please inform one of the marshals. So that means marshal is the name given to the people who are helping the uh, people, uh, the participants. Where does the 20 kilometer walk finish? So the 20 kilometer route is here. Uh, for the 10 and 20 kilometer routes, a bus will be waiting at Fenton. Fenton to take walkers back to Welldown. So where it is finishing, that means Fenton, and then the walkers are taken back to the um, well down. What is the frequency of the Fenton to well down bus? The sixth answer. So here they are saying the bus will be every half hour. So that's the frequency of from Fenton to the well down uh, station. Which walk does not pass through lower Breen? Uh, so that's the not there in the passage. Which one? The last one? Lower Breen. I can't find. Yes, ma'am. Maybe okay. I just, uh, just, just not this. showing that text here. Or maybe it, it is like maybe I just quickly uh, copied it. So maybe I missed that piece. So answer to this one is like uh, the, it says the 10 kilometer walk. And I'll just let you know where in the passage it is. Just a sec. If I see if I missed it or it's already there in the passage. Oh, there was a map, right? And... Uh, that ma that map is like uh, will tell you the answer. All right, so I didn't copy pasted the map. That's okay. Like it will tell you the route. So that was actually ten kilometer. 
All right, so those are the answers here. That's the entire class for today. As you know, there is a weekend now, so we won't be seeing each other for this weekend. But yes, we will be seeing each other on Monday. All right, so I'm ending this session, guys. Uh, everything is fine. I'm just unable to uh, find the second answer. What was the sec answer of the second question? Uh, you can just keep this screenshot and I'll be letting you know Monday. So you need to come back Monday okay. now, right? It's 4.02 okay. already. So I'm ending this session now. All right? Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. So I'm ending it this now. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, Aleem. And just send me if any query you have. So I'll be happy to help answer that. All right, bye-bye.